Welcome back to more of the Game of Mind with Sam Obama. Let's play of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. This guy better have rock types. Or I'm going to be very, very disappointed. He has... That is not at all what I was expecting. Also, level 42. Good God, what is happening right now? What do I even do? Okay. That did a lot of damage, and I got a special drop, but I think I'm going to knock this thing out in another body. Okay, we're good. Okay. Good. Thank goodness. This tunnel terrifies me. I hate to say it, but I may have to go back. No, I'm, I'm hoping I won't have to go back and heal, because I do still have now 10 super potions. Oh boy, we're going to run out of super potions before I get a chance to get like out of here. I have a sneaking suspicion, especially if I save every two minutes. After I have to keep healing up my Pokemon. Part of me does kind of want to just go back and heal every so often rather than using up my items. Because I... Um, really, you're faster than me, huh? I would like to go back and heal because it would cost less for me... To replace my repels than it would be for me to replace super potions and revives. So I might do that. Especially if Gyarados gets knocked out again. Which it probably will because this Sand Slash I'm sure has Rock Slide and will... Okay, it didn't survive the... Okay, that's fine. Okay. I think I want to go back and restore my my HP. Unless there's another... Okay, Repel War Off, that's fine. I'm just going to... Because Repels are like 30 Poké Dollars. Revives are 1,500. You know, I could buy 50 Repels for the same cost as one, as one Revive. So, you know. Okay, another Hiker. I'm going to get out of here. This is kind of... I think this is kind of the point for going through ton for um through caves and that sort of thing is it's sort of forcing you to make a little bit of progress, fight a couple trainers, come back, heal, fight a couple more trainers, heal, and then you just kinda keep going like that. Unless you just severely overlevel your Pokemon in the first place. Which I'm trying not to do. Because uh, you know, if I do that, I feel like it makes the game less interesting. If it's like, I'll just level my level grind my Pokemon up to level like seventy five out here, that just doesn't make the game interesting. It makes the game extremely tedious and even, you know, extremely tedious and boring. So I would rather push forward with what I have. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do. Whoops, Rhyhorn, not Rhyhorn, Magneton. And we'll do another repel. Okay. Now let's see if I can kind of remember where I had to go in order to get out of here. Uh, I think it was down... Nope, not that way. Not that way. Here. At least I've defeated all the trainers that I have to. At least, you know, up to where I was, obviously. That's not the right way. I mean, yes, yeah, so we're going to have to use up a bunch of repels here. Especially if I keep leaving and coming back. But I would still rather use up the repels than use up a bunch more super potions and revives. Because, like I said, it's it costs way less to replace my repels than it does to replace super potions and revives. Especially revives. Because revives are very expensive. And I do not want to use them if I, unless I absolutely have to. Like, if I'm at the end of a dungeon, or a cave, whatever you want to call it, and I want to... I want to, like, push forward past, like, one last fight, then yes, I will probably use a, a revive there. But just kind of going through... Like, if, I, if I'm only, like, two levels into a dungeon, or cave, whatever then I don't want to I don't want to have to use a revive and then find out, oh crap, you know, the next fight I have to use a revive again. It's just it costs too much to keep using revives. 
Alright, what does this guy have? Okay, Onyx like maybe can't deal with level 41. Really? I'm faster. I thought Onyx was fast. Okay, that's fine. It's okay with me. More XP for Gyarados. A choke. I'm going to hope that, well... Uh, I don't know what to do here. Because I was going to say Scyther double resist fighting moves. But there's no way he's going to use a fighting move. I mean, he's probably use like, uh, I don't know, Karate Chop or something and do massive damage. So, do I... I'm going to leave Gyarados in. I'm going to use Waterfall, because I think it'll be a stronger move than Body Slam. That did very little damage. Less than I was expecting, I should say. Uh, I'm concerned. Hyper Beam? Super Fang. Super Fang probably followed by Hyper Beam, if I'm being honest here. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Oh, okay. Body Slam. That did much more damage than I expected it to do. All right. Back to Machoke. Okay, now I think I want to switch to Arcanine. Because I don't think another Waterfall will knock this Machoke out. I think a Flamethrower might. And if I don't, I could always burn him. So, But I knocked it out, so it's fine. Golbat. Uh, Magneton is severely underleveled for this. I probably should have used... Uh, Probably should have used Rhyhorn, but it's already done. Right. Confuse Ray. Okay, I'm glad I didn't use Rhyhorn. Please knock this thing out. I know it won't, but... Oh. So close. It was one HP away. This is not going well. Obviously. Okay, there we go. That was awful. Magneton, unfortunately, is lagging way behind in levels, and I really should go back and I really should go back and level grind up to like level 37 or 38, 39, 40. Because, like, every trainer in here is, like, level 40, 41, 42 now. And it's, like, it's it's overwhelming at this point. So, as much as I didn't want to go back and level grind, I think I might have to, just to be able to get through this, this accursed place without having to return here to the Poké Center 70 more times. Like, it's it's one thing to try and push forward if you're at about equal levels. It's another thing if you're trying to push forward when you're like three, four levels behind, you know? And I would rather... There isn't going to be any grass over here, is there? Or can I even... Oh, I can't go back. Okay. This grass, I think, is for the the other route. This is a different route, isn't it? Oh, I had a rappel up. That's why. Ha! <laughs> ha! So I think this route is the best for level grinding, just because even though they're lower level, a lot of these Pokemon are uh, are like stronger, like they're at least partially evolved. So I'm gonna, I'm honestly, I wasn't planning to do this with level grinding, but I have to. Like I can't get through this cave. At level 38, I can't get through this cave. So I have to get Gyarados and Arcanine and maybe even Magneton. I don't know. But it has to be done. As much as I don't want to do it, it has to be done. I don't want to fight these. So I guess we're in for another grind session. It's okay. Hopefully this won't take too long. I'm going to go for level 40 for everything that at least is going to be useful in the dungeon. I keep calling it a dungeon. I don't know why. So like Gyarados, possibly Scyther, Arcanine for sure. I might as well push Rhyhorn, see if I can get Rhyhorn to evolve into Rhydon. If I don't remember when it evolves, if it's like 40 or 42 or something. If it's 42, I'll just push it to 40. 
So, we just really need these levels. Okay, how much is it going to be? 4,400. Okay. That's okay. All I know is I haven't eaten today, and I kind of regret not eating before I started this recording session, but I am going to eat the shit out of a bunch of stuff once I'm done with this. Uh, this recording session, I should say. What it is, I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I really just want to go back to sleep, honestly. <laughs> that's that's that feel like I feel like that would be a more productive use of my time to just go back to sleep than sit here and level grind for two hours. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop. Just do like, well, end this end this episode and be like, nope, I'm done <laughs> for the day. I don't know yet. I'll think about it though. Might be an option. I wonder if it'd be better to level grind Rhyhorn in the other grass patch on the next route. Just because even though the Pokemon aren't fully evolved, he won't be countered by as many Pokemon as he would be out here. Because any grass type out here, it counters, uh, like Weeping Bell, it counters Rhyhorn pretty significantly. And I don't really want to have to go back and heal Rhyhorn 75 times. Really? That didn't... Okay. So we're going to be here for a while, apparently. Okay, come on. With the paralysis here. That's three turns in a row. Alright, we're not going to fight anything more for Gyarados. Apparently. Alright, Scyther, let's get you a few levels. I don't even know if I'm going to use Scyther later on. Who knows? Since I don't think it's going to learn any bug-type attacks, it's probably going to be a bit of a waste of time to even level it up. I don't even know if it learns anything. It, all, like, the, all of the moves that it might have learned, it, it might have already learned, if that makes any sense. Like, knowing what this game has been doing with, like, giving, not, like, not giving out very many moves. Like, it took me 30 levels to, to or 25 levels, I think, for Rhyhorn to learn a move. So, who knows how this is going to work. <laughs> really? You survived? That was a, okay, fine, fine. Not that this matters, but... Probably she's quick attack there, but oh well. All right. Let's see how much this does. That's better. So I guess that other Scyther had like way better defense than this one I'm fighting now. Hmm. I'm just curious how much more it's going to take to level up Scyther. Okay. Not too bad. As long as I keep fighting Butterfreeze and Scythers, that's fine. Oi. I guess Gloom is okay. Although it'll probably survive a Slash and put me to sleep, or paralyze me with Sunspore. Knowing this game. Yep, there it is. On the plus side, I don't think it can damage me too much. Or it's only going to use status moves. Is that four turns? Five, I think. You use the move, you use an attacking move when I wake up. <laughs> I have no idea 
what this AI is doing. It wastes, like, five turns using other... <laughs> using other status moves. And then the turn I wake up, it uses a damaging move. Like, you could have been hitting me this entire time. <laughs> Even though I double resist pedal dance, you could have been damaging me for something. Okay. Good, level 38. I'm going to switch to Arcanine for a little bit. And then, I don't know. I would like to get Rhyhorn. Or Rhy I really want to get Rhyhorn evolved if I can. Okay, this is good for Arcanine. I guess we'll just focus on doing like one level at a time for each Pokemon, rather than focusing on one until it it levels up, you know, as many times as I can level it up. I guess. I don't know. Is it even worth it to fight a Magnemite? No, but I'll see if I can one-shot it. I can't one-shot a Magnemite. Okay. Yeah, it's not worth it. 380 experience points is not worth it. I'm just going to run from them. If they can damage me, I'm not going to bother with it. Oh, this is fun. I'm just going to spend the next several episodes fantasizing about what I'm going to have for the rest of the day to eat because I have nothing better to do with my life. And I just think about, oh, what could I have? That's how fulfilling my life is. is what can I eat today? This is not good. I don't like this. I probably should have used Swift, honestly. Whatever, it's done. Nope, we're running from you. Sorry, I'm yawning an awful lot today. Probably because uh, I was awake for about two hours last night, apropos of entirely nothing. Even though I did sleep in till later than usual, it was not enough to uh, to kind of get me back to any semblance of normal. So here we are. Okay, I want to get out of this grass because I want to be able to try and fight some Pokemon over. In this other route, for Rhyhorn specifically, I don't know if this route, if this route, if this grass patch is different from the other grass patch. Looks like it is. Okay, that's good. Paris is not good. I'm still gonna try with Rhyhorn. We'll see if we'll see if Rhyhorn can handle out here. Okay, that's a good that's a good one to find. Unfortunately, it is going to take a lot longer to level up because these are not like stronger Pokemon. So I'm going to be earning less experience fighting these, but I'm hoping it's going to be more consistent when I'm fighting Voltorbs and Coughings as opposed to um, Scythers and Glooms and anything that can potentially like. Well, Scyther probably won't won't knock out Rhyhorn, but you know, Gloom, Tangela, Internet. I don't know. Of course, you have Psybeam. I wonder if they changed any typings for any Pokemon, like if Venonat is now Bug Psychic or something, because it always seemed like. So many, I think like a bunch of other, like the, the Dreano hacks, I'm fairly certain changed, uh, changed Venonat to a bug psychic type because it just seemed more logical to make it bug psychic, I guess. I don't know. Sandshrew. I kind of want to run away from this, actually. <laughs> 
Okay, you're faster than I am. That did not do much, though. That's fine. Okay, glad I dodged. Wow. Okay, that's great. Caught you in a dig loop. That was my stomach. Sorry if you heard it. Alright, good. Rhyhorn leveled up to 39. Thank God. Soon. We'll have a ride on, I think, anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's go heal. Is this thing going to blow up on me? I imagine it will. But at least, uh, okay, that's annoying. Okay, great. It does have sludge. That is the strongest poison type attack in Gen 1. And of course I get poisoned. That's not good. Oh, come on, you got hit with one smoke screen. Now you can't hit anything. You can't hit the broadside of a barn. It's ridiculous. Okay, that's... This is such bullshit. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Blue Kaiser. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel for more of this. I will talk to you all next time.